Spaghetti. Hello, my friends. How are you today? Sorry, the audio quality sounds a little different. I have my, my travel mic set up. I am on a family trip, as I frequently am, when important trailers drop. And this was the trailer, the final pre-launch trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. I imagine that means, like, we'll get a launch trailer, but that'll be, like, when the game launches. This is really, like, it, as far as marketing goes. And, um... And like, you know, I try to avoid spoilers, I avoided most trailers. Like, like this is the equivalent of that Switch presentation, Breath of the Wild trailer. Like, that was the big one with a bunch of story and the one that makes you go, oh my gosh, this game looks absolutely amazing. This is really the equivalent of that. And I avoided the other one, and I was really happy I did. And so I really didn't want to see this one. Um, but I kind of realized recently, like, I don't know, I, I guess I just grew up enough you know, you you grow up, you get responsibility, and I realized, like, by not making a video, like, if you're a YouTuber, that that's, like, that's income. So it's like, this is my job, so it's like, I'm, I'm basically sacrificing kind of a lot to not have spoilers, and the thing is, I... I support multiple family members with my income. We have, like, kind of a, a shared thing, so, like... <laughs> I kind of have to do my job, even if it means seeing spoilers sometimes, and that was a very sad realization to make. It's just like, yeah, I really just can't. I can't not. I can't just avoid it if I could do a video. But here's the thing, though. I was all confident about that, but now I watched this trailer, and it is so much. It's so, so much. There's so much in that trailer. And after seeing it, I'm just like, okay, yeah, definitely, this was definitely the one to avoid. Like, <laughs> this is the one that shows off all the little things that they weren't showing before. The little things that make you, like, really start to see, like, I, it just new visuals, new visual elements. And after it, I was thinking, okay, so now do I watch through a bunch more times and comb through all the details? But then I'm thinking, like, so much of my enjoyment in a game comes from the surprise, you know? A sequel to Breath of the Wild is gonna come from, like, that new stuff. And if I spoil a lot of that, that's going to affect my enjoyment of the game, which will in turn affect my review, and the review is also my job. <laughs> it's also my job to do the review. So I've been very conflicted, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go lukewarm. I'm gonna go unhappy medium. Probably worst of both worlds. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna watch it again. I'm not gonna comb through it and look for all the little new things. And this might be a little disappointing if you are, I mean, you're here already, you know, like you're in it to win it. You're here for the spoilers because you watched the trailer. Now you're coming to watch a video on the trailer. So I'm sorry to disappoint you that this is not going to be an in-depth analysis. I am going to go off of memory. <laughs> And I'm not gonna try to hit every single little thing. I'm just gonna hit a couple of highlights. You know, things that I can't forget. Uh, my overall takeaways from the trailer. That's what we're gonna do. I hope that's worth anything to anyone. <laughs> if it's not, that's the great thing about YouTube. You just click somewhere else. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at the analytics for this part of the video and see where it drops off. See how many people take my advice to go watch something else. Uh, so here we go. And also keep in mind, because I'm not combing through this and analyzing it, um, we might, I might get some stuff wrong or like just make incorrect observations that even watching it again would, you know, clarify, but I don't want to. So I might get some stuff wrong, and there's where I see another little dip in viewer retention, where I say that <laughs> even more people leave the video. So like, first off, you know, there were still a lot of people who were looking at that gameplay reveal and were like, this is clearly just DLC. This is, this is not a sequel. There's just nothing here. It's the same game again. This is a good lesson. If you're one of those people who just felt that way, you, you just gotta wait sometimes. A lot of times, you really do just have to wait, you know? Like, it's okay to be wary, it's okay to be, like, scared, skeptical, to express that you're afraid of that, but, like, don't be so sure of yourself, <laughs> because this trailer, like, it is clear from this brief little trailer, like, oh yeah, this is not DLC. No. 
this is a sequel just in this little bit of time just even just visually so many concepts that are just brand new completely different from the first game like this is there are times when it almost looks like a totally new game because there's just so much new stuff to see so i i'm gonna be jumping around a lot um zelda we saw zelda with her new look link got his like kind of tattered caveman-y old old timey look and uh now she gets it too it's like cave woman zelda pretty cool i like the look i am more confused than ever about the game's story this like technically touches on more of the story but it does not <laughs> does not paint a clear picture whatsoever of what's going on um yeah she's got this new look um, she seems to be supported by people. She has another task that she needs to accomplish. She's holding a thing in her hand. So, like, again, she has to do some kind of thing. But then at the end of the trailer, she mentions, like, how Link needs to find her. But it's like, but you're just out in the open. Why can't you just run over there? So, like, that's making me think there could be some, like, like two worlds. Maybe not that you're, like, going back and forth, like, light world, dark world. But it could just be that you're stuck in a different part of reality or something um and this is supported i think <laughs> by the idea that um we hear like a guy voiceover like a little monologue thing and we heard that in the uh the previous like big trailer and it sounded like an evil guy talking about you know it was either ganondorf or somebody who likes ganondorf uh but here we hear i'm pretty sure it's the same voice actor one monologue is talking about bad stuff one monologue is talking about good stuff is that alternate like there's a bad one and a good one i really hope i there's something to this and I'm, everyone's not just like no those are clearly two characters what are you even talking about um but yeah that makes and how link has to find her makes me think they they really are stuck in different dimensions or something i don't know what the difference is between them because they both look kind of old timey and ruiny um i really don't know speaking of story stuff though uh, you know, we had, uh, Mummy Dorf, we had Dried Up Ganondorf, and, uh, they just, we saw Ganondorf in this trailer, <laughs> just straight up, I'm a little disappointed, I mean, I, I get, it's a Zelda game, I get, I don't know, they've had Zelda games where, like, they, you know, like, where they don't reveal it until later, it is sad to just see it here, to just straight up see it, like, oh yeah, there he is, okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess he comes back. I mean, like, we knew he would, but, like, you could save the reveal. You could keep it mysterious. So we see Ganondorf, uh, and then I think, uh, Dragondorf? <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know if that's, like, another, you know, Dragon Blight Ganon or something, but, like, yeah, there's, like, a three-headed dragon or something, which is just another thing I wish I could unsee, but I can't. Um, uh, we saw a lot of little, like, weird little Ganondorf-y, like, looking things, and uh, it's really interesting. And there are, like, new characters. There's, like, one, I, it's, and it's, again, I'm going off of my memory here. Um, definitely looked like a Gerudo, but, like, very just like strange looking and uh, weird um but we've got like other characters too we see other um you know like a goron and a zora and and a and a rito and they are following link around and this seems pretty purposeful i know that uh in the first game you know each uh champion had their little uh, their little sequences where they follow you and like you you're... actually no just the goron one right yeah just the Goron one follows you up the mountain. Um, but I, I, I guess they took that idea and developed it more because here we get multiple shots of Link being followed. And I'm not getting my hopes up that this is like a full-on partner system. <laughs> I don't know if this is still just going to be specific sequences in the game or something that you can do sometimes. I don't really know, but that's a cool idea. It really did just look like, you know just like a Zora guy just following Link around and like fighting or at least just fighting with him um yeah obviously an incredibly exciting idea that's so cool you know the idea of the champions was already great but then like making them like little partners like Paper Mario style that would be so so cool um one thing about the trailer is like yeah it still looks like it's distant past or maybe like distant future I really don't know one disappointing thing is like, okay, Breath of the Wild, the world has been destroyed in a war, and it's all just ruins, and it's like, oh, we're gonna get another one? Maybe a prequel? 
not a prequel, but like takes place in the past. Oh, we can like see the kingdom in its actual splendor. No, this is like just more ruins, you know? And I really like ruins, but it's like this version of Hyrule seems even more rudimentary, even more like just people living in huts and old crumbled ruins. And that's disappointing. It really is. I was really hoping to see some actual buildings. I mean, I'm sure it's because of the story. Whatever, Wherever they set the story, they had to do what made sense for the story. But yeah, that's definitely one element that's just kind of like, oh man. We did get to see more people, though. Um, we got to see, like, little villages and, and people. And I want to say some of them were even fighting at one point. I'm not really sure. Uh, but that is nice. The trailer showed off a lot of just NPCs, you know? Just characters, villagers, and uh, and I really appreciate that because that's something I'm really wanting. I really want more characters. I want more people to talk to. Uh, I think that would be nice. Speaking of characters, um, even in the uh, in the gameplay reveal and you know in the trailer too, like we we saw like these weird. Now we know they're called constructs. I guess they're construct enemies. Um, but yeah, the gameplay reveal like. You, we'd see like little characters on the side. So there, there, there are clearly like good construct people, NPCs. Um, and here we saw it even more. And I'm really looking forward to just like learning about them, learning like why they're there, why are some good, why are some bad. I love just robot -y people, you know, robot -y ruin people. It's a very, very, very cool idea. You know, before we had, you know, Gorons and Zoras and Sheikah and all that stuff. So now it's like, you know, just basically a new uh, species of people, which is cool. And beyond that, so many little things. So many little things, again, that I'm like trying to forget, you know, like new enemies, new places, just new visual stuff. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the exact kind of thing I want to avoid. You know, I just want to just see a new thing, take in new information. That's what I want to do when I play the game. Um, and I am fairly confident that there's a lot that I'm forgetting. <laughs> because there was just so much. Every single clip was a new thing. Um, but uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to try and remember. Um, we saw another uh, talus with a structure built on it. That seems to just be a thing. It's just taluses with, like, structures built onto them. We saw that in, like, the very first... Uh, gameplay-ish trailer, like the second trailer, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's cool. That's just a fun idea. Okay, the only other thing I guess I want to say is, uh, I, it, it toyed around with, like, buildings. At one point, it showed, like, a building rising up, and I was hoping that that was, like, a dungeon rising up, but then it kind of just looked like it was Hyrule Castle, which is weird, because in the first, first trailer, you see it raising in the sky, and in this one, it's rising up from the ground. I have no idea <laughs> what's going on there. That is weird. Um, but uh, yeah, like at one point, uh, we see this really big kind of ruiny area, kind of. Um, it's just, it's just like this huge space with so much like vertical space, like going up this mountain. It, it's, it's, it's not just a mountain though. It's like constructed and it's huge. I hope this is obvious and Kane is finding the right <laughs> clip. I mean, it was really just for like a second. But it really stood out to me because, like, verticality, it's what I keep talking about, you know? Like, that's what I want to see more of, and that's what, like, Breath of the Wild, it had a fair amount, but, like, now you've got things so high up in the sky, and now, like, I love to see that reflected in individual structures and things, too. I just love being in an area and, like, looking up and just seeing stuff. Big, huge wall, big, huge structure. It's it's very, very cool. But you know what? I guess that's it. I'm going to stop there. I'm sure the people who are scrubbing through and doing the analysis, there's, there's a lot. There's so much. This was so much. Like, them not showing off the game really was clearly just them being secretive. Because, you know, like... They was like, is it because they don't have a lot to show? Is it because this is a disappointing sequel? No, it's not. This is a lot. This is clearly like, there, there's enough, just this brief little thing to be like, this, this is a sequel <laughs> for sure. And probably a pretty impressive one too. Just the scope of different abilities and concepts and visuals. Uh, I mean, of course, we'll have to wait and see. I know a trailer is cut to take all of the best stuff and make it look as cool as possible. Uh, so, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is not going to disappoint. And because of that, despite seeing more than I wanted to, a lot more than I wanted to, despite that, I'm excited. 
I'm pretty darn excited. I think I'm like I'm all I'm constantly trying to like check my hype levels. I think that there is definitely an element to this where my hype is lower than I feel like it should be because of how long this has taken and because of just how long they drug us along. Now that I see the final thing, it's definitely brought my hype up a lot. I'm, I am really, really excited. But I'm not like just crazy out of my mind excited. You know, I'm not like freaking out. I feel like I could have been like two or three years ago. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I feel like I could have been. It's just been too long. I feel just too tired to be that extra little bit, that extra little edge to my excitement. Um, but that's not, it's not even really that a big complaint or anything. I'm still excited. It's coming out in a month. It's gonna be cool. So that is that. Let me know what you think about the trailer and the game and stuff down in the comments and uh, watch out in a couple days. I'm gonna be putting out a video about what I think Tears of the Kingdom still needs, even after everything that we've learned about it, what it still needs to be a great, super good follow-up to Breath of the Wild. Um, I recorded it and we made it before this trailer, but I do not feel that the contents of this trailer change the things that I say. So just keep that in mind. Watch out for that. You are awesome and I love you and please have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>